fans know them as the Rebel Rockers of the Desert. Over the past 30 years, the Malian band Tinaruan have transformed the hypnotic music of the Sahara into a new breed of electric blues that has won them millions of fans the world over. Today they're in Los Angeles as part of a North American tour that will take them to 15 different cities in just four months. Okay, Français comme d'habitude, on fait tourner déjà mes basses euh, avec la guitare. On ne fait que des chœurs aussi, comme ça on peut envoyer un morceau de l'entrée et puis of the Tamashek word for desert. They're all ethnic Tuareg, Berber pastoralists who live a nomadic existence in an area of the Sahara covering parts of Mali, Niger and Algeria. Tinaruan's story is tightly linked to the struggles of the Tuareg. In the early 60s, conflict broke out between Tuareg militia and the newly independent Malian government. Among those killed, was the father of the band's founder, Ibrahim Ag al-Habib. Ibrahim and his family fled into exile, and he grew up alongside other uprooted young Tuareg, fighting in the rebellion and making music. Okay. Besides Ibrahim, of the band's oldest members is Abdallah Ag al Hussein, who joined Tinaruan 25 years ago. The group has commencé in the 1979-80 in the south of Algeria. The group was born in 1979 or 1980 in the south of Algeria. In 1983, the Ali members found themselves in a military camp in Tripoli in Libya. And that's where we formally decided to call the band Tinariwen. From there, we moved to Mali, where a second Tuareg rebellion broke out in 1990. Finally, in 1996, the Malian government and the rebels signed a peace accord, and the majority of the ex-combatants were integrated into the national army. But we chose to continue making music instead. Tinaruan's popularity has exploded in the past 10 years, taking the group everywhere from Australia to America. Just a few hours ago, they flew in from New York. Tomorrow, they'll be in San Francisco. They're exhausted, and Ibrahim prefers not to talk to us to conserve his energy for the concert. Eyadu Agleche is one of the group's younger musicians who joined when he was a teenager. Il y a des moments très durs, c'est vrai, il y a des moments très durs, on est très fatigué. There are some very tough times, there are moments when we are very tired, like right now. But still, your soul is awake because you know that you're here to meet people, to make music and communicate with people. That leads to some great moments as well. When we are on stage, we forget that we are tired. We are happy because we are here learning, seeing different things and experiencing new cultures. It's nearly time to perform. The group has barely had time for a quick dinner and shower, but they're ready to face the sold-out venue. People here compare our music to blues or rock, but the truth is, we never try to make blues or rock music. We are all guitar players and songwriters, and we all listen to different styles of music. 
If some of our sounds feel similar to rock and blues, it's simply because of the use of the guitar. We call our music Asuf. That means nostalgia in our Tuareg language. Asuf is a type of music in which we try to keep the spirit of traditional Tuareg music and combine it with more modern elements. early songs often had a political message. Today, they focus more on issues concerning Tuareg society and culture. We talk about our life first and foremost, but we also have songs that talk about what's going on in the rest of the world. Many people think that our songs are only about rebellion, but they have to realize that the Tuareg people existed before the rebellion. So some of our songs also talk about other things, like love, nature, education, our daily life. Carried by the audience's energy, Tinaroon performed for an hour longer than originally scheduled. There were a lot of starry-eyed faces in the crowd. Tenaruin's music is this incredible mix of something that sounds really familiar, like very bluesy and very rootsy, and um, something completely, completely exotic and ancient. It was great. I mean, it's nice to see people get up and shake it loose. Usually I come here to see the chamber orchestra or something, and it's all very stoic and staid, you know? I love them. It's real uh, Saharan blues. It sounded a lot like Junior Kimbrough at times. Uh, you know, a lot, a lot of like Northern Mississippi stuff. But uh, then it just ended up uh, sounding like um, a bit of Ali Fakir Tower and a little bit of the Malian stuff. But it's way Saharan. I love that stuff. After the concert, Edu ventures outside to meet some fans and sign a few autographs. The concert was great. We were so tired that we thought it would be a bit difficult. But on the contrary, there was so much warmth in the audience tonight that it pushed us to live up to it. Tinaruan will continue to tour the US and Canada until June. After that, they'll head back to their home, the desert, to find new inspiration and new stories to tell through their music.